Raping yourself? Raping yourself is when... Uh, I'm not participating in this conversation. Yes, you are. Put the phone down. We're <laughs> when you rape yourself. When you get, when you catch yourself home alone. And oh, okay. <laughs> can't, go, can't nobody <laughs> save. <laughs> and you'd be like, look here. I can't take my hands off myself. You know, keep it quiet. <laughs> it's going to be quick. Take that. Take that. Oh, okay. You tell yourself it's going to be quick. Keep you quiet. It's right to sleep. Oh, I, <laughs> I don't imagine nobody does this drunk. Though. I don't think you get drunk enough. I hope not. That's weird. You just sober and do it? Drunk? You I don't drunk? think I masturbate drunk. Drunk and masturbate? That's weird. Yeah, that's uh, kind of weird. I had a friend. He uh, cause that seems like that's too that's too intentional. That that whole train. Is yeah, like you're really like, making love to yourself. I'm gonna get fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> you really marriage to myself. Like bro, I got I already gave myself consent. Yeah. Like, so you want to be you want to be sober. Yeah, to make sure I don't need to myself. <laughs> that's possible. That's possible. <laughs> My buddy, he uh, he's so talking real. about uh, masturbating all the damn time, really pro- inappropriately. Uh, and then one day I'm helping him move, and he uh, sh- he shows me his magazines, like my magazines. <laughs> magazines, that's like '80s. Now, mind you, it's already weird, but I already knew that from the conversations. <laughs> you know what magazines it was? Well, Maxim. They still sell those. With clothes on? Hey, that dude's sick. Yeah, sick. That sick. That dude's a serious fella. He's, he's a crazy person. Next is going to be the Montgomery Ward lingerie page. Serious. Bruh, that man's a psychopath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, how the hell? Uh, I'm going to come to him. I don't like to come to him. Yeah, I'm flying out. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Uh, I'm going to see it for a second. Yo, that's... <laughs> I'm moving on. Yo. It's like I walked in on a conversation. I had no business yo. with him. Yo. No, you were here when it started. Yeah, you, you started with you. You started this, actually. <laughs> Yes, you did. You used somehow you gonna rape yourself tonight. That is not what happened. That drink, you definitely. No, you started too. the conversation because of my drink. But we all started because this is what we're here for. It's conversation. Cause we had UTPL podcast. That's what I was waiting for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Episode forty. <laughs> this slides in. Uh, it's me. It's me. It's Justin with an E. King of transitions. <laughs> Got a new one. Yeah, boy. Shit. Hey, I earned this one, though. <laughs> and it is the lovely, talented, beautiful, can't pour a drink to save her damn life, but... A liar. Bruh, you pour it, like, seven... How you got one alcohol and two mixers? That's Don't bad worry food. about what I have over here. I'm very worried. I hope... I need you to make Actually, it home Actually, I am a certified bartender. You need to have your license. <laughs> <laughs> I say you took that class. Eh, shut up. <laughs> anyway, shut up. it's young Ava London in the building. Bringing presents um, from her trip a week late, but you know, we in here. First of all, passing that bottle before I introduce myself. Uh oh. This is the uh Uh-oh. celebratory. He back at, it's uh, the licks, baby. <laughs> it's the licks. Back at it. Who am I? I'm off the, wa- off the wagon after two weeks. Right. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Kwaku, and I am. I wish I knew. Right now, I wish I knew JJ Fast. I'm a devastating, motivating. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I just hit it right now. The whole uh, oh, I just saw. I just watched. Uh, yeah, that mm. movie was horrible. You know what? <laughs> but I wouldn't say it was horrible. I'm but it was, admit that. No, it wasn't it was what I expected. It was absolutely terrible. But like, huh, like that chick had a life. I didn't know she was that young. I don't want to become a music podcast again. Uh, we're not doing it. We're not doing it. We're talking about a movie, though. We're talking but about no, a movie. I want to talk about the one part. How in the fuck? You charge your mom, your baby mama, ten thousand dollars to get, get your, your kid. Mother's kid back. Yeah. Did, did, I haven't watched one of her interviews. That's real. Yeah. That really happened. I, I, I mean, it, I can't imagine they just throw that in the movie just to be. But I mean, I'm like, I'm tripping. I'm Maybe like, it wasn't ten thousand dollars. I mean, but I'm like, you and then when she went talk to the wife, I'm like, she underage, bro. That's all. Yeah, like, it's not right. You don't need no more conversation, like. But you know what though? Because I feel like in that time frame, age didn't really. I don't want to say age didn't really matter, but because mm-hmm. they, I feel like they looked older than what they were anyway, and acted older. Think about age, though. <laughs> the thing about age. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, like, I started off wrong. Where you going? <laughs> yeah. Where are you going on this? You going by yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> but no, nah, you know what? Men do like younger women. Is the thing. Well, it's no. a fashion. It's a. I mean, it's a. 
I don't so know if like the me. age, the number, they like the, the mind the, or the, the body. Physique of a, the body. Of a, of yeah. the body when everything's uh, still up of, of, of a younger Her woman. Feet. Yeah. Um, yeah. And men have been doing this for all of human history. It's just these last 50 years where it became wrong all of a sudden. Yeah, I mean, because if you think about it, it's like, yeah, Caps is getting married at 12 or 13. Right. 13, marrying a grown. Right. When your, uh, what is it, your, your, uh, your red flower come down and you're not a woman, <laughs> you can be given off to another wealthy landowner who might be on the What happened to your lotion nose right there? Cleaned up a little bit. Yeah, uh, yeah, cleaned up a little bit. He, he had to use it. He took, to it, he himself, took, he took advantage of himself. <laughs> I've been, I've been, I've been busy. <laughs> <laughs> been busy, busy week, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I've been with him with sauce. <laughs> Ain't wash a dish in the crib, but I can't really break myself that often though. I get real. Uh, we back on. I think my dead friends can see me. Oh. <laughs> That's weird as fuck. And you know who I started this with? Rest in peace, tomorrow. <laughs> It started then. <laughs> oh my it started, god! It started around fifth grade that I started thinking about dead friends. Fifth grade. Yeah, my friend dead friends. Can see you me. were raping yourself in fifth grade. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is perfect. This is the peak. That's what you was really going down. <laughs> Discovering myself. Wow. In fifth grade, what the fuck was y'all doing? Oh, Playing with doing? baby dolls. Not all y'all. Not explore. I was not explore. You know what's mad? It's bad that we uh, <laughs> we know each other. You a pedophile? Like raping myself, raping everything, <laughs> hide everything. Exactly. Hide your keys. <laughs> the funny thing is that we know each other to a certain degree, and uh, it's easy to start saying names. Like yeah. there some people that didn't. I didn't have like yeah. a pass with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be able to do that, but like I'd be so close to saying. Not all y'all was playing with baby dolls. Hey, <laughs> and for, I mean, th- on that note, I'd like to apologize for Christine to Christina Whitney for even mm. bringing her name into the put her yes. name on wax because she cool. I don't know her at all. I do. Well, I, she's like a friend of a friend, so it's yeah. like I'm cool with her. But she's been a but then I was giving her compliments. So yeah, I she's been a muse of mine for a long time. Yeah, because I remember that time when um, <laughs> you felt bad, like you really owe her an apology. Well, no, I, I mean, I just want to. Clear the air. Clear the air. Yeah, I'm sure she didn't air. She definitely not sure. Because I, I checked our, our 30, and like, yeah. she, she wasn't one of she our 30. One. So. Oh, man. Uh, but still, once we get famous and this come back out, and then people go through the old ones, they're like, oh, but he did apologize. But he apologized. So he, he not a total. We said it wrong, did we? No. No, you didn't, because I would have said something. But you know, but you see, this is, but actually, this is me trying to turn on the charm. She always talking about I'm not charming or anything we like that. definitely not. I, I, I'm a Give work. me a little work. I'm a work. I'm a, no, I'm pleased. This is me trying to bring it back up. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Trying to, go trying to flip it. it. Yeah, trying to uh, shoot my shot. Yeah. So, did you, you hate <laughs> the movie? Um, I can't say that I hated it. I just felt like this is not uh, great cinema. It's not this is like this is like this is like just somebody's story. Yeah. It wasn't. I mean, I think that's the, I don't think everybody needs a movie. Like, it could have been a thirty-minute movie. I want to have it became her. But you know what? I think it would have been better for me if, okay, we would have got her little history, mm-hmm. but continued on through her story. Like, what happened? Well, Why did you fall off? Yeah, yeah, you yeah, yeah, fell yeah. off. Yeah, like, what was the peak in that movie? The, it, the baby daddy thing? I mean, I think well, the peak well, was when she was really rapping and doing the whole uh, Roxanne, Roxanne thing. I mean, but I then know, what? But, but, you know, I mean, but you know what? Also, I don't think they did a good job of relaying information because I didn't know that she ended up doing three albums. Right. And mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a lot of stuff I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? And like, so I mean, I remember, like I said, I remember some of her songs. I remember Roxanne, Roxanne. I remember Rip, all them, the whole Roxanne. They could have went over I probably Roxanne remember like two, I already know like two songs. But like, I, I remember, remember the bitches back. I remember, because uh, my uh, my big brother, Al Lawrence, his, uh, actually, I wrote big brother, but my big brother, his girl was like super into her. And so, like, she would always play. She was super, so I kind of, I knew it through her. You know what I'm saying? Well, I but, have older cousins, so. But. I mean, I, I don't, again, I don't know if, I mean, because, yeah, because they did, because, cause, like, when they kind of threw knives in there at the end. That was kind of, like, where does this They video? were trying really hard. They tried. I mean, Nasir. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. His name. I would like to see, okay, well, like, who was it? Okay, we're going to go down here. I feel like it would have been a better documentary than it would have been. Yeah, I agree. Ooh, that too, that too. It would have been a better documentary. Then, I mean, because then we could have got some. Because again, like, I don't feel like, other than the fact that her mother was a bit of a bitch and stupid as fuck. Yeah, well, like, so, so, like, 
So what was the story? Was the story really about her? Because her story, it's although I mean, I haven't been a rapper and all this stuff, so that's interesting, I guess, to the group. We know that story a lot. So was the movie about the baby daddy or the mama? And that's the thing. I don't because I think that I, I remember. I remember. Uh, I was listening to something, and they were talking about like different biographies, something like that. Like they were talking about how like what Straight Outta Compton did right that the Tupac movie and the Biggie movie missed on. And it's that the straight out of Compton was kind of around the theme of that was police brutality and mm-hmm. how that influenced the music. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But with like Biggie, with the Tupac movie with Roxanne, Roxanne, mm-hmm. they were kind of just going through their well, whole life. Not necessarily. What do you mean? Because you can say that part of the well, not really, but kind of that it was because aren't the, they kind of trying to say like she started beef? Like the whole. I, I guess she thought she was the first battle. They just say she's the first battle rapper or something like that. Yeah. But I mean, I guess my thing is like there but was. But that no, was so small. But I guess it was no. Okay, if she started beef, then they should have showed like Sweet T. I mean, I'm reading that. <laughs> uh, Roxanne, she started the first beef. Well, that's I mean, what they. Well, were. That's the thing with the Roxanne, because like I just because I actually had to go to Wikipedia and apparently like this chick that was down with UTFO. The real rocks, Roxanne, Roxanne. The one with the blonde hair? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They, her and her crew, they supposed to do a concert for Marley Marl and they missed it. And so she happened to hear them, when she was going along, she happened to hear them talking about it. And she was like, hell, I'll put a dish, I, I put a make a song dissing them. And so she dissed them and that's but how But she the whole wasn't thing even started. really dissing, right? I watched the movie, but I can't even tell you this. Which one was Roxanne, Roxanne? Who was that? That was I the other one. I want to be your that's man. The so that's the one I know. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 that's her. I want Roxanne to I want to be your man. That's her. That's Roxanne. Right. 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 I kept saying that. Okay. Yeah, that's Roxanne. So the other Roxanne, what was her song? Uh, it was, do you know something with the red? Uh, I, it's on the tip of my tongue. I forget. I can't. Wait, you talking about the rap song or the, yeah. like, the little yeah, rock song? The world is, uh, just popped up right there. World is, <laughs> world. Hey, I'm telling you. Big brother. But, I mean, so, I guess if they were kind of, like, if they were going to do the whole beef thing, then kind of show me. How, what came from the beef like, like show, how it evolved yeah how it evolved so what, but, yeah. you know what I'm saying what happened like show that okay like Caps is really like getting in fights and stuff like that because of that beef it was right. some drama actually drama well, show they, me all that then if, you, if it's about beef if it's about her and her mother's relationship then I mean I guess maybe they were kind of trying to do the whole parallel well, it was between her, her mama relationship her life, and her, man, her relationship with men and all that but yeah but it was also a part of her life so yeah I mean just I don't know yeah, it could I mean I could have watched the whole movie, take all the Roxanne rapper stuff out. I could have watched the movie about a daughter who wanted to be a rapper, but her mother was having, she was having these issues with her mother and trials and tribulations. I could have watched that movie. But then her mother also supported. I mean, her mother her supported her in the, the beginning rapper, because which was weird. That but no, that's cool. I mean, again, like, but she, of course, because it was. That's where that came from. Well. No, man. I was but, talking to somebody about no, it. No, it was cool. Thing. I mean, it was cool because, like, but to me, it's like her mother supported because she needed that money. She needed to win that you contest. Think that's why? So she needed that money. And again, but so, okay, I mean, like, if her mother was involved, then have her mother, like, it wasn't no real one theme that kind of went through the whole movie. And mm-hmm. that kind of, it was just like, it was a bunch of different scenes, a bunch yeah. of, okay, now nah, some dude giving her a car. It wasn't And then not, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just, I don't know. Do we have a need for these type of movies, though? I mean, do we want to see a lot more, because... Uh, Black Panther, we're gonna see a lot more black movies. What kind of yeah. black movies do we wanna see? I'm, I thought we, oh, you know what I wanna see? I wanna really dive into African mythos, African legends. Just, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we, again, I, had, I, I think we said it before, but like, yeah, I know about Zeus, Ares, <laughs> Greek guys, we know about Roman guys, we know about, you know what I'm saying? What like, are they doing um, Mansa Musa? Yeah, they're supposed to mm-hmm. do Mansa Musa, but I want, I want more than Mansa Musa, Shaka Zulu. Slavery or Cleopatra. What you want, else you got? You want Holly Selassie? What you want? Yeah. <laughs> I want, I mean, my thing is, I want, like I said, I said it before, I want a, a Game of Thrones in Africa. I want a, uh, uh, like to, to talk about the guy, talk about, uh, what was it, Kamed or what was the guy, uh, Ramses and oh, the different guys and okay. the different, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that, like, they, they got to do with the little dog a head and all Egyptian that. Egyptian movie was Yes. Man. Yeah. Or my thing is, I mean, again, even that with that, it's like we kind of know about Egypt, but we don't know about South Africa, Ghana, Congo. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm sure they got, because hell yeah, I think they thousands of miles away. They got a whole different culture there, you know? Right. I mean, like, we look at Africa. I mean, I think the the, the, the most the most we know about Africa is Egyptian lore and Mansa Musa. You know? I think, I think 
there's a whole large percentage of the world who don't know nothing about Manson Mover. Yeah. I remember, I don't know if I said this on the podcast before. I talked to my, uh, of course, if, uh, for listeners, uh, that 30 is funny, for the 30 people who <laughs> listen, uh, Australia included. Uh, <laughs> Shout out to Australia once again. I got some news about Australia, by the way. Is this real? Uh, real? An Australia listener? Am I killing it? No, but let me, let me be honest here. I found out. Look at the Atlanta Lilix again. I'll still you listen once. Uh, <laughs> I just keep seeing that one. Uh, <laughs> I keep seeing Australia. Australia wants you back. You get that email. Like, I email her to like, man, we want him on the show. I'll still you once. I'll still once. Yeah. So I guess they're well, looking for an ugly true pity. So we're going to stick with England. We, okay. got, we got England. We got okay. England. Okay. We got, we got consistent England. Shout out to the body boys in England. Yeah, yeah. The faggots? I can't say faggots. I'm you did. Yeah, I don't know. Maggots? <laughs> wow. You did. But that's what, that's what body mean. mean. That's what it means. I thought it meant something different. In it. Okay, well, you, you said it first. I was just de- defining what you said. Well, you know what? I don't care if you gay or straight. If you're listening, <laughs> I appreciate it. What's body boy you. mean? And, and, and you're? Body boy, that's Jamaican slime. Oh. You got Jamaicans ain't for that. I'm sorry. Body boy, well, I apologize, <laughs> Jamaica, even though y'all <laughs> not listening. You running around here. Uh, this is what we just talking about. We keep losing <laughs> the point. Uh, yeah, because I'm, I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm lost. I don't even think we were talking about that anymore. We were talking about, we about black movies. But oh, yeah, black, black movies. movies. Um, Mansa Musa, that's all I'm going to go into. Uh, my my, my uh, uncle, once I spoke on Mansa Musa to him before, he jumped right out the box like, Mansa Musa? What did he say? He started slavery. I, I remember, I yeah. remember yeah, 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 how he yeah. was stunting or whatever. Yeah, he threw me off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, what would that movie be like? <laughs> I mean, but... Will we find out something we don't want to necessarily know? Honestly, like that wouldn't be a bad little mm-hmm. movie if you kind of, if you kind of, I mean, cause my thing is this, I feel like a lot of things that we, that black people do really ties into African culture. We just don't know about it. Like when you look at these, these, these women with the loud colors in their hair and super loud outfits and us being loud and all that, it's like, to me, it's like shit, all the stuff is like the descent of the Kente cloth and mm. all those, you know what I'm saying? Like in Africa, they, it's loud and it's colors and, you know. And then, like, the mu- I mean, because I think, yeah, we see it in music where a lot we come, we kind of see the drum beats and all this other stuff and the dances and, and all that. Like, I, I mean, I think that if we got more knowledge about where we come from, we would see, I mean, I think we would associate a lot more with Africa. But we kind of. The correlation of. Yeah, the correlation of just to see that. Yeah, like, yeah, we got to take it from this land, but, but like, we really do. I think we, like, we, we say all the time, like, black Americans don't really have a culture because mm-hmm. we don't know. Where we came from, but I think it'd be good to kind of learn that. Well, I think that from my viewpoint, down south in Africa, the same thing. Mm. It's, it's like it's when people ask me like, "What is it like in Ghana?" Uh, as a child when I'm to Ghana, and as an adult in Ghana, I got the same impression. It's just like being in Alabama. It's the mm-hmm. same thing. The same. The people even look the same. That's and, interesting. And then especially when you go to the Bahamas mm-hmm. and places like that, islands, yeah. it's the same exact people. It's nothing different. It's the same lifestyle. Everything is exactly the same. So you you be a, I don't know. I can't. That's West Africa, and maybe you know West Africa from the slave trade. Mm-hmm. That's mostly where we came from and that kind of thing. So Ghana, Ghanaians, uh, Liberians, and we kind of used to that. I don't know what goes on in Ethiopia and South Africa and those you know mm-hmm. Congo. It's probably may, maybe a little bit differently, but different thing. But for the most part, you know what I'm saying. I can see that the the, the fashion, the uh, the way of being it seems very similar to me so mm-hmm. uh, I don't know African movies there's a lot of African movies on Netflix I noticed too though it's, it is a lot it's a lot of, a lot of independent yeah, a lot of African, African movies movie. yeah I'm not, so you're talking about kind of, I want, like I said I saw that one when they were talking about the child soldiers mm, when no. he was ever in it but I'm like I, I think that's an American not, movie about African not, not talking about actually African no movies. like just regular I mean it's correct because like every once in a while like an African little my husband is cheating on me African movies. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. like the little comedy drama. Yeah. Okay, that'd be dope to check yeah, out. Yeah, it's quite that. a few. Like, a lot of them. It's like... It is a quite a few. <laughs> so they all like the low budget. You might not even know that they're African movies by just looking at the thing. They don't Some really you explicitly will. say it. Okay. No, but... If you watch it, you, you get it. But, but I'm at saying, the description... Well, yeah, but I also look at, like, the actors and the actresses. You know what I mean? You'll... I Somebody got a deal because it's the same people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Somebody got a deal. It's the same people. Yeah. Uh, but, so, I mean, I would eventually, I would like to see some of that get explode and some of that kind of be mine for 
Because again, like we know, it'd be nice to learn that because I think it's just a fertile ground of mind as far as ideas and stories and all kind of other stuff. You 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 got your hair braided before I fam- did. famously. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, who braided your hair? The hair people. <laughs> okay. You had to sit there and watch some Nigerian movies with them? No, we were no. listening to music. Oh, uh, okay. Because I hear they make y'all watch some Nigerian movies. Oh, no, actually, I'm doctor. lying. They had on, like, uh, it was regular TV. It was okay. uh, Mr. Field and all, Dr. Field. And they have a, uh, Nigerians have a real big movie industry. I forgot what it's yeah. called. It's like a something wood, Bali, not like Bali, Bali wood type of shit. Yeah. They got, yeah, yeah, they got like a <laughs> dark wood. <movie. laughs> <laughs> you can't do that because last podcast. Oh, that's it. right. I'm for a hard thing. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Europe. This is what we need. <laughs> fuck Europe. Um, Eastern Europe, you cool, but fuck regular Europe, I guess. Western Europe? What's is Eastern it? Europe? I don't know. You got, you got Eastern Europe is like them Baltic, the Yugoslavia. Okay. What did you say about Europe yeah. on the last podcast? No, no I was talking shit about Africa. Oh. I, I did, I'm friend of old girl because she was African. On it's the oh, girl. you're right, you're right. You're right. right. Mm-hmm. Uh, but um, I got to be old school for a bit. Okay. Um, for, for the sake of uh, Roxanne Shante, we want old school on the music. Well, I can see that. Can see that. Let me just say, this little Netflix movie got her added to a concert. Really? <laughs> that's what's up. I mean, she's that's, on a, that's um, good I mean, a I like little '90s hip hop. I think it's around Mother's Day or Memorial Day. Something. No, I think it's Mother's Day. They added her. That's what's up. That's cool. Black women are winning. Say that again. Black girl magic. Black women are winning. I hate that. Black girl magic. What? I just you know what I hate? It's just I don't know. I had a, I got into an argument with the chick because she was talking about like because it was some chick. Some I said something about somebody being unattractive or something like that. She's like, no, nah, black is beautiful. I'm like, no, nah, black is beautiful. Not all black is attractive. Thank you. Uh, mm. We're not going to do that this week. Why not? We're not going to do that. We did too much of that last oh, week. So, 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 you, so you calling me Gary Owen? Uh, I like that one. Thank you. Transitioner. <laughs> yeah. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Gary this dude used to break dance. He used to be like, yeah. <laughs> 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 I used to like, that was my move. Like, yeah. Um, so apparently, some people, and I hate saying some people, it would always be like one dude is upset with Gary Owen for, first off, beefing with an African black guy. Okay, so it and was then, a playful beef, though, right? This wasn't serious. Or it was serious. I don't know because dude was harsh. I ain't gonna lie. But he always does that though. Yeah, that was extra harsh. But he not. He just. I mean. Okay, I don't not, know. Not, not Gary. My my He's talking about yeah, Michael yeah. Jackson, right? I mean, but you know, that's my thing. I, I kind of feel like I don't think it's okay to use the N word when you beefing with a white dude. <laughs> so he's. He I don't have the opportunity to beef with white dudes that often. So I mean, I don't think like. We cut you off, don't worry. <laughs> Calm down. It's I mean, not you. It's him. <laughs> I'm gonna let you go ahead, cook. No, 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 no. We, I mean, forget the fact that y'all both cut me off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm we cut. So, I mean, I, I, I kind of, I mean, and I feel like it's gonna turn into a conversation about the N word, but I, I kind of feel like we can't just, I mean, if it's our thing, then we gotta use it with us. Mm-hmm. I don't use N word at work or in mixed company, but a lot of people put it in music and all the other stuff, so be like, okay, cool, find music, whatever. It is what it is. But, like, when you using it directly in response to a white person mm-hmm. and then say, I dare you to use this word. Right. Like, you... I think that I was, mean, that was kind of a little below the belt. It's weird. But I think, for me, weird, I feel like that was the joke in it. I feel like that's the only thing that was... Let's listen to this. I don't know. Yeah, because I really didn't even... I, I really listened to... I mean... I didn't read... Oh, what about this what, we gonna, what we gonna do with this? And whoever dick you are writing, talking about it's been hundreds of African movies and I'm not in none of them. When it's been Thanks. thousands of white movies, I'm not in none of them. Yeah. In fact, you've been in two black movies. I can't movies. understand nothing you Hopefully, just said. Hopefully, the same type of nigga. The mm-hmm. white guy that had a black friend or a black guy that had a white friend. In fact, that's your name in the movie credit. A white guy with black friend. White people don't even fuck with you. In fact, white people have disowned you just like black people have disowned OJ Simpson. Then you got the nerve to say I look like a Kit Kat. Well, Kit Kat stay yeah. the same color. You don't know the other hand you're pale one day. When you're upset, you're pink. When you're a 10, you're red. And when you're punching in the face, you're blue. Man. You miss the feeling. You don't know having eyes, bitch. 
talking about open up for, I will never true. open up for you. That's another black man. So you trying to say all niggas look alike? You just want to roast you so you can be black. Yeah. It's it. be black so bad, don't you? Well, fuck you, nigga. Now say it back. I didn't think so, you wet dog smelling bitch. Fuck you. Over the edge. Okay, so yeah, pause. So where did this come from? I'm not sure. I think, I think Gary Owens is just kind of... I don't know if where it... Where did it come from? from? Yeah. Breakfast Club, baby. Okay. He was on the Breakfast Club. You talking about when Gary Owens was yeah, on the Breakfast Club? Yeah, he was on that dress like the uh, Takashi 6 9 dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, but he was on there, and they asked him, when he went out of character, and uh, out of that little character, whatever case, and they asked him about Michael Blackson, uh, he basically said something oh, like that. Oh, okay. He, saw, he said some shit like that about, I don't know exactly what it was. I didn't mm-hmm. watch interview. But he said basically some jokey, jokey stuff about uh, Michael Blackson, and this is what Michael Blackson come back with. Uh, so was real beef? I think, you know what? I know Gary's playing, right? I think, you don't feel like Michael Blackson? I think that's the thing. I think that maybe Gary took some jokes public. That's kind of like a private thing. What do you mean? What he said. I think I got him the open that you open for me. No, I'm talking about because he said on Breakfast Club that. too, right? Yeah, but he came back though. After no, he came back. No, I'm talking, but I'm saying. has been about like, four different back and forths. Yeah, I'm talking, but I kind of feel like Gary, they're probably cool. And then, like, maybe, I think, I mean, because it seemed like, I don't know, it seemed like Blankston seemed kind of serious. I don't like to put words in people's mouth, but he seemed serious. That's Which, his, I mean, that's his style. That's, that's his style. That's what I was going to say. Like, yeah. when he, him and DC Young Fly were going back and forth, it was kind of serious. Yeah, but no. I mean, but me, I guess the thing is, Kevin mean, Hart is serious for him. I guess the whole thing is, like, the whole N word thing is kind of when you lose. I mean, because again, cause my thing is, like, so, but anyway. So, so Gary Owens' response was to have his wife kind of step in. She's black, and the parts where he was gonna say the N word, she stepped in and said it. But you know, I mean, I don't know. It was a funny little response. This, I thought it was cleverly funny. funny. Like, yeah, it was. I mean, it was like I said to me, it's like I like again to me like Michael Blaine was kind of just jumping out here, just talking, and like he kind of painted him in the corner with the whole say the N word thing, and I think he found a clever way around it. You exactly. Know? Touche, but I'm pretty sure he had played that joke plenty of times, though. Who, Michael Blankston? Gary, 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 Gary. Yeah. Gary got an interesting career, right? Oh, about using his wife. They both say facts about each other, though. I mean, yeah, using the wife, and that's kind of clever. I'm pretty sure he didn't play with that before. They both got interesting careers. We know who they are. You saying Michael Blankston. That ain't even his name. Blackson, isn't it? <laughs> Blackson. I said Blankston because he said Blankston, but he said <laughs> Blackson, See, right? We know these people, but we don't know these people. He's just a mother for that. I'm yeah, just I don't not know. a like, fan. Honestly, I, I, don't, I don't really care for Michael Blackson. The only thing I did, Gary, Gary Owen. The only thing Gary Michael Blankston did halfway was funny when he was on this one movie and he was acting like he was Akon and he did this song and it was hilarious. I mean, he got memorable shit from Friday. Oh, that's right. That Who's two this? When he was like, fuck you, motherfucker. Like and what? With this shit. Yeah. Which, which, which Friday? Right after that. Oh, I yeah, haven't my seen him. Well, I, my, wait, what? What? <laughs> you ain't seen him. I attempted to watch the second one. Edible carry nah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I saw but, you, but you saw Roseanne, huh? Mm. I like Roseanne. Boom! <laughs> 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 um, okay. And guess what? Without me seeing Black Black Panther, it's still nah, breaking records. No, you can't even speak. Don't say that word. I'm saying it's made. Don't, don't say. Like, I don't want to hear you ever do it. The Wakanda forever salute. I don't want to see I'm you not because I don't know what it is. My don't chest looks like is. something out of it though, from my stuff him. But I don't. Whatever. I know. I know. It's random. I'm not gonna do it. But, <laughs> <laughs> it does. Sure, man. Whatever. Uh, anyway, but uh, uh, on a movie talk though. So wait, no, because we have to finish this conversation. It's not really a conversation. Man. So was he wrong, or was oh. I mean addressing the people who was saying no. like he went too far? Uh, yeah, like having his wife. I'm not mad at. Why? I'm not mad at. I'm not mad. To me, nigga is a uh, okay. I can make sense. I can make a podcast out of this, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, nigga theory. Nigga is a disease. Not a color or anything like that, and anybody can catch it. Mm-hmm. I agree with that. Arabs catch it at the, when they working at the guy when they own a gas station in the hood, and mm-hmm. their kids back there, mm-hmm. their kid grew up to be a nigga because mm-hmm. he been in the hood too long. Mm-hmm. Um, Gary Owen might have nigga, and when they, when when a white man come up to me and he shake my hand a certain kind of way, I feel nigga or I feel white man. It's been yep. a couple times. That I just shook up with a white man. He he gave it to me. He one of us. Yeah. And 
not that I've had one necessarily do it, but they have car blondes to go ahead and say nigga. You know what I'm saying? If he did do that same dude that shook up with me, that New York ass white boy who who living like that, he is a nigga. You know what I'm saying? He might be more nigga than me. I never <laughs> forget. I was on the metro station one day, and so this young cat, young white dude, and his older white, older drunk white dude got into a fist fight. And uh, apparently, the older white dude, well, the young, the older white dude took offense to him calling the younger white dude calling him nigga. Mm. And he wasn't like you're, He didn't call him a nigga But he was like So somebody got to He's like bro My nigga You don't want no problems And dude was like Not a fucking nigga He wrong Why the man said that Huh The, the older man said that Is wrong The white man was like No I'm not a fucking nigga And I'm like I mean who really wants to be a nigga though <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying And it, it was funny because Like the worst part was So they got to fighting And so he punched the old man twice And you could tell He was a little drunk or whatever So people broke it up I'm kind of I see it Two white dudes Huh? Two white dudes mm. So the young little hip hop dude Like now I'm telling you my nigga now I'm te- Like But and I, like, it didn't bother him That he was saying my nigga Cause he seemed down enough To yeah, yeah, wear it Cool yeah, yeah. And so he like walked by And so the Oh you know how like After you get your ass whooped You looking for a friend <laughs> <laughs> I do not know About this feeling But well, okay. <laughs> From what I hear I mean, I've had my ass whooped before And I've looked around for friends So I mean Cause again Cause like It's not like after, like Especially if nobody calls the police you just sitting there with your ass whooped with a knot in your head. And, you like, and so he's walking around. He's like, man. And like, so he looks at me. He's like, but I'm not a fucking nigger. <laughs> and I was like, I feel you. I'm like, I felt him though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, you got your ass whooped, nigga. <laughs> so, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. It's like, I felt bad for dude. Because again, like, yeah, he said the N-word. But he was like acting in self-defense. He's like, no, I'm not that. How many? I mean, hell, I was hearing this story. I'm mad at him for saying nigga. Not really? The white boy that said it at the beginning. Really? Why? I'm not a nigga. He's not offensive. The white man is offensive. He's defending. He was called something. But going by you, what you just said, he may not be a nigga by the definition of what. Yeah, he, but obviously he got a problem with niggas. I got a problem with niggas. <laughs> I got a problem. With <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> what do you mean? But. By the the, the other, look, other than my niggas, the one the niggas. one is infected with nigga. He said, "My nigga, what the fuck? What you want to do?" Mm-hmm. And this one said, "Say, whoa, fuck all the beef. Fuck the beef we got. Don't I'm call not- me no nigga. <laughs> now you crossed the line. That's what, like <laughs> I feel like that's like I'm not mad at that. <sighs> I'm, I'm not mad at that. Him. I remember uh, once a similar situation with me and my guys at the White Castle and. Talking, talking, my guy said nigga in the casual conversation, and a white boy came over there, drunk too. I guess they do this shit when they're drunk. He came over there talking about some, wait a minute, you guys can't be saying nigga, y'all shouldn't say that word. He's like, like trying to school us on nigga. Yeah, I'd be the Mr. M- yeah, my man wasn't going for that <laughs> shit. <laughs> my man was you not going slick. for that shit. Slick. But see, that's a young, like that's the thing, but it's like younger, younger cats, they want to say that. Like older cats ain't trying to really. Cats is, you know what it is? Cats that are culturally adjacent but aren't really down mm-hmm. want to say that shit. And to me, I feel like the, the test to see if you can say it is if you say it or not. If you want to say it and don't, and scared to say it, then you can't say it. If you just say it, then you can say it. If you just say it, then you can say it. I mean, I think it's all about vibe and how you carry yourself. No, I, 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 go, I go back to my original thought. If you are a nigga, you can say it. And that's the thing. If you are, then you know and you just say yeah. it. Right, you just say it. If you sit there like, man, I want to say it, man. Can I say it one right. time? You'll never get a pass to say that shit. Fuck you. And I guess we're going through, we might be going through a little um, nigga phase because they got issues with um, Lil Dicky and Chris Brown. Oh, God. That's an issue in the world. What's the issue? Uh, because that, in his song, he, he says the N word. Well, Chris Brown says it, but it's supposed to be little the joy in that it. the whole thing. So it was a bus full of girls in some white town that we ain't never gonna. Oh, you talking about that? Yeah. Oh, no, no, this was a college. Uh, the cross team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody and they were did, yeah. singing the song. They were singing the song. They were like so emphatic, like that. That was the part where they turned up. Yeah, when they said the yeah. nigga part. They turned up on that But part. do you think that when these little white kids are listening to our rappers, do you think they don't say the N word when they um, at home rocking out to it? Music podcast. Um, I know, but I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But this but is uh, saying, that's my music problem with rap music, though. Think that? Yeah, rap music has an um, that's what it, it music rap music hip hop had an opportunity to teach um, the white world and actually mold white kids. 
into something. And now all they did was teach him. All they did was teach him nigga. Y'all can't see this, but I'm nodding. Very yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, yeah. I it, think it's talking the N word. I think the problem is, is that, and you know, Fifty Cent was talking about this. He was talking about that, like a lot of the music that comes out now isn't wasn't made for radio. It just so it was stuff that was that came out. I mean, because like a lot of something, because yeah, lots of remember we were talking before, like lots of the hit the radio. By the time it hit the radio, these young cats are already off it. Yeah, because it was dope a year and a half, two years ago. Right. The thing is, it's dope in the streets, and then it ended up making its way to music. But like, yeah, it's no, it's no radio cut to this. It's just sure. full, you know what I'm saying. Like a lot, like that's the, like what I don't like. Like uh, what's his name from Chicago? I don't like. Uh, this is shit I don't like. Chief Keith. Chief Keith. Like, uh-huh. when none of this stuff ready, radio made. It was uh-huh. just dope. It was drill music that was dope. And then it's just like, it came out. A lot of 21 Savage. That like video these, definitely did not belong on TV. Yeah, these cats don't. <laughs> I told you about how, like, Caps, when he was on GCI, Caps openly threatened this dude life on, on GCI. TV. I mean, yeah, I never listened to it. Yeah, Bro, yeah. they was like, hey, Harvey, want to holler at you, fam? Come see me. Hey, the Iggy's looking. Like, I'm like, hey, like, you know what I'm saying? The like, Iggy was, still exists? What? The Iggy still exists? I don't know. I'm just talking. Oh. I'm just saying. Like he went, he went in the street bag. I don't know. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> I went into the bag. That, that was, my street bag is pretty old. Like, I'm just saying. Okay. I appreciate you calling me on that though, Ty. You know, so not everybody knows I'm a black gangster. I believe. I mean, no. exactly. <laughs> the Warriors. Right. Right. The L Rookies. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, so my bad, Shotty. I mean, I just think. I mean, the thing. The problem is a lot of this stuff isn't really wasn't isn't really radio ready. You know. But they used to edit all that stuff out, but now it's like, yeah, they don't put. But now you're like, you get your off YouTube and off SoundCloud, you getting the straight raw, and everybody has access to it, mm. and so everybody like that song has access to it. So it's they, I mean, they getting comfortable. I'm like, I, yeah, and then they, you know, I don't know. I mean, white people. Uh, Saying in words, and that's like end up with Alec Baldwin tweeting out niggas in Paris. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's like <laughs> you got <laughs> niggas in Paris. And the funny thing about saying like a song like niggas in Paris, good example. Um, first of all, that's the song, niggas in Paris. They have no choice but to like this song. And dope ass song, dope ass song. They repeating it. It's the point of the song yeah. is niggas in Paris. Yeah. And I, you can look at that song in so many different ways. That whole album, if we talk about that whole Watch the Throne shit, we definitely forget about this music shit. But the uh, the Watch the Throne album was really like a two sided, a double sided sword. Yeah. It was really like they saying niggas in Paris, but niggas in Paris is saying. Really fuck y'all. We yeah. hear y'all shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Them singing along with it really is it's, against it's them. Like, but we were saying they were saying some dope shit, but they also kind of defeat the purpose. Yeah, because. yeah, yeah. It's like it's double sided as hell. You yeah, know what I'm saying? That whole yeah. the whole concept. But again, like you can't stop if you gonna put songs out there in the world. I mean, I and black people using a word that's. Uh, I mean, we 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 can have we we could not get off the subject of the N word. We want to keep going. Uh, I got. I want to. We gonna gonna use it, but I mean, I think the thing is, y'all got a problem using that word? No. What? Where where do you where do you feel uncomfortable using that word? I don't really use that word. I try. I consciously around white people use that. Let me see when I stop using that word. My son was like (laughs) maybe four or five, Uh and apparently I must have said nigga a lot. So one day he was like, "Who's that nigga?" Like he thought nigga wow. was a person. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? No, so I, it was I, just like, and then it went from. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna stop saying it. So then it went from Negro. You talking to Negro? Uh, you know what I mean? Like he can't. Need but, an alternative. Right, but, yeah. but so <laughs> but yeah. because I don't like to be called a nigga, and it's weird. I want to be called a nigga from nobody. So I try to refrain from using that word now. Although I feel like sometimes you have to say the words to get your point across. Mm. You know what I mean? But I don't really say it. And I try not to say it. I, I, I use it all the time. I have a story like that too. My daughter's like maybe four or five. I used to with the old school. Just It was just three rock cams in a row. But, uh, Yo, that's your boy. <laughs> I guess maybe that's why I said so. <laughs> but um, no, nah, so like I, this is when I was still with my baby mama, and I'm running, I'm leaving out. So my daughter was like, "Where daddy going?" She's like, "No, he going out." 
And she's like, oh, he's going to hang with his niggas? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I'm like, huh. She like, I'm a parent. I got to get right. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of forgot to, but, you know, I, I kind of, I mean, maybe mindful of what I said around her. But, Your daughter. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like, I don't, I don't like to be called one. You know what I think about even this, jokingly or just it, in com- it doesn't matter to me. I, it does something to my soul. What kind of what I kind of like came across this thought one time that in this talk about n word. You, you said you don't like being called a nigga. If I don't know him and I see him on the street, I can't call him a nigga. Yeah, I can't be like, hey, nigga. Yeah, that that ain't, that right that, there. Just- you can't do that. You know, black man to black man, you can't. Somebody got to break the nigga seal. You, yeah, you, you can't just call a nigga a nigga that you don't know. What's, so how does that get? Bro- how does that seal get broken? What's crazy is because like the other day, uh, this cat I know I, I went to college with him and everything. Me and him never really kicked it like that. We were hooping together, so we know a couple of the same people. So if it is like, man, come on, let's come check out the game. And it's like, so I went over there, and the thing is, is like I realized like I didn't use the N word until one of them used it because mm-hmm. you don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's like you don't know. What type of niggas you around? <laughs> okay, okay. So I mean, the thing in a real talk is like, if you if you the type of cat that don't use it, I, I really would like. If you don't use it, I'm not gonna use it around you. If I don't know you like that, you know what I'm saying? Right. But like, if we comfortable, if you say, man, look at these, you know what I'm saying? Then I okay, then I get free with it. You know what I'm saying? I kind of somebody gotta break that seal. Huh? Yeah, somebody gotta break it. Seal. Like, if I come to your house. And I'm not gonna break the seal at your house. Yeah, but if they come to my house, I'm breaking the shit out that seal off top. If we don't change the subject, the title of this podcast is the nigga hey, seal. Suck, breaking hey, the nigga seal. Suck a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> suck a nigga. Right. Oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you don't really just jump out calling niggas niggas though. <laughs> I mean, but you then again, be, you know, because like, yeah. again, the thing about the N word is it can start a fight. My father called me a nigga one time, and yeah, I didn't like it. My father did not use the N word, but Hope did. My father is not African American. Right. Oh, he's not African. Yeah. So I was day, all the extra this way. is what he said. This is what he said. This is I might have been twenty three years old, and I'm in the office with my fubu on. <laughs> Still trying to from me. And, and he was like, "You be trying to tell Your father said, "Who a nigga?" Damn. <laughs> like I'm about to put the ER on it. That's what my father said. might as well put the ER on it. You a nigga. Damn, that's tough. <laughs> and that's I was tough. offended. Like, like tell me how you really feel. <laughs> what? <laughs> First of all, he didn't say it right because there's no nigga in him. Right. It's like you didn't say it right. Like you can't say that. Like fuck out of here. For real, like you're not part of the culture. But they're fighting with so like the nuances of niggas is, is I don't know if it's a word like that in the world. But I mean, again, like nigga, get your ass whooped, and nigga, get your two front teeth knocked out. Yeah. Oh, I thought you was doing it. You did. You I did. did. I did. Not did. I did. Not yet. I did. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> stuff like that happens. <laughs> but nah, uh, I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm not banning the word. I wish I could. Uh, ban the word? Yeah, nigga, I, I ain't trying to ban it. It is what it is. I am limited. I asked y'all, y'all the question. I got to answer the question. I don't like to say the word around older black people. Mm. Yeah, that too. I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. That's my. You know what word my grandfather uses, and it offends me, but I just know it's from his era. Mm. Colored. Mm. How old is it? Ninety two. That was crazy. I was watching that. Did y'all did y'all catch the CNN thing they did? Um, Hope and Fury. No. No. Nah. It's like. What was that shit when we was kids that they don't play no more? They need to play for these kids. Uh, oh, what? Channel 11. Uh, I know what you're talking about. Uh, uh, Eyes and Brides. They yeah. need that, don't yeah. they? Yeah. That was dope, though. Every year we saw that they shit. They don't watch it. They need that. They, they not watch. watching it. I, they might. I don't know. But go I ahead. Need, I, need to get that. I need to download Bro. that shit. Uh, but they, had, they revamped that shit a little bit. And they revamped it on some... King got fucked over and shit. Yeah, you know. Oh what I'm yeah, because they supposed to be doing a documentary about the more militant side of documentary. Yeah, this, this was talking yeah. about. They were talking about the after okay. the speech shit, yeah. which we didn't get when we was kids because they taught us. Um, it's almost like when he died at the speech. Yeah, I have dreams. Right, everybody realized. And they didn't talk about the Malcolm and the Martin Luther King kind of. Right. 
I, out of all the topics I thought about this week, I didn't think about the fact that he died yesterday. Huh? Yeah, uh, <laughs> I saw it everywhere, and I didn't think. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let me talk about that shit. We some niggas. Um, <laughs> no, it's kind of no man. Go it's ahead. Kind of Back on the collar. We, we didn't dealt with it so much. It's kind of like yeah. sometimes. And then what did you it do for us? But I, I used to, it used to, and I, I'm jumped off your subject, but it used to bother me, like how many how many people really jumped on Malcolm X. And kind of to the point where they nobody really wanted to, like everybody wanted to be Malcolm X, nobody wanted to be Martin. But I realized like the way they whitewashed Martin to the point where Republicans are kind of hollering his name they out. His name. Like yeah, I see that. But they're using up to the speech. It's like what they yeah they talking up about the to real speech, yeah. And, but that but and again they don't talk about the stuff that got him killed. Right. Like it's talking about uh you know what I'm saying financial equality. Right. All that the Chicago stuff and all that happened and all after that, the speech when he that came and that's the shit that got him killed because right. he was talking about some so they could shake that really shake things up. Yeah, mm-hmm. Vietnam. Yeah, all that was after the speech. Yeah, when he started talking all that shit. And that's what got him killed. You know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, with, with that. Uh, but the the crazy part is that Martin Luther King, how old is your father? Ninety two. They're the same age. They would be the same age. That is crazy. Really? That's yes. crazy. They, they, he would be ninety two right now. That's crazy. So that shit is the same. It, it ain't that far removed from us those times. Yeah. And we, we, they taught it to us and made it seem like that black and white shit because we were seeing color TV and they showing us this black and white shit. It felt like it was so long ago. Uh, that's, that yeah. was when they was teaching that shit. When we first started coming across that, that was just twenty years, 20 years ago. Yeah, right. that was just. Yeah, that just passed. I mean, yeah, that's the thing. Like my parents, my parents in their sixties now. They grew up in the Arkansas. They grew up in, yeah. They grew up in it. Like that's the thing. When I was a kid. Bro, come up. My, my my grandma stayed in this little town called Blasville, and it's like two towns over from where Walmart started. Mm. The first Walmart was, and the thing is, I never forget. Like, like my grandma would send me to to Piggly Wiggly on the main street, and I walked over there. Stop shit. Like, I don't know if my grandma was trying to get me killed or what, because I walked over there, and this is the day they was having. She certainly wasn't parade. trying to get you killed. Bro, they had, they, she sent me to the store the day they was having the clan parade. She didn't know. <laughs> she didn't know. All right. I feel like everybody <laughs> knows when not to go to Main Street. <laughs> she was thinking you should have been swallowed. My grandma <laughs> made us a flyers. My grandma made us pick cotton one time. Mm. Bruh, I was out there for two hours. Horrible <laughs> 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 slave. Was- Bruh, I knew all the songs. I had to go down the mood. He knows hey. what the house, nigga, huh? <laughs> oh, no, I was out there. It was hot. Things, they look hot. They just cut my hand. They was talking about hurry up. I'm like, bitch, I'm free. I'm not playing with a motherfucking thing. Hey, this nigga know the details. Like, shit, that the room was real. That the cotton be picking your hand. Yeah, you got to open it. You got to get it out. You got to make sure you get all of it. Or they, wow. and they come behind you to look, and it was so bad. And they had this, it like. <laughs> They had the, uh, the little kid with the motherfucking bucket with the little tag on their shoulders holding two buckets, walking, and all these filthy ass niggas was drinking like the like you take the ladle and drink it and then put it back. And I'm supposed to drink after these sweaty ass like this ain't job. Where were you born? No, I live in Hazelcrest. No, like, I got I got my own bedroom. <laughs> Uh, With a TV in it. But it is said that like a lot of people like in Mississippi and all that have still been living in that. And when I've been down south, like this a couple years ago, my mother moved back to where she's actually from in Alabama. Mm-hmm. And I went there with her and her sister once. My aunt, that's my sister. Her sister. We went we went traveling. I take my, my daughter with me and we going through the places where they grew up. They taking us to places they never been before. Yeah. They couldn't they looking around like you know, we come over here. Yeah. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And then they start talking about the school shit. Like the girl, forgive me, I know her name right now. But like, um, I'm with the little rock and I and the other little girl. Right. Like girl. Yeah. And uh, they were talking about how when they had people out there with the garden tools and shit like that. Yeah. When they were trying to go to school, yeah. and they had to fight to go to school and shit like that. Yeah, yeah like shit like that. Like they, they, my mother went through that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's like crazy. this shit, like they got us. Thinking it's like some old ass shit. So right. now here we are, just twenty years later, talking about nigga this, nigga. Yeah, yeah. And we rapping on TV. I turn on, they be on here with guns, talking about killing each other and shit like that. It's like it's some wild, weird ass shit going on mm-hmm. with black people, which kind of gets me to some other subjects. I don't know if I'm gonna go there yet, but I'll say this much before we get to anything else. I'm a little bit done with black people. A little bit. Done? I'm not trying to save the people no more. 
I would go to save the people phase. You can't save the people. I think everybody does. I think. I think Pac said that. Pac was like, yeah, man, when you're young, you got that energy. You yeah, got that yeah, yeah, like, you got to yeah, use yeah, it then yeah. because as you get older, it's, just, it's hard to keep that energy up, man. Because I, I think like it's just too deep. How, it's deeply rooted. How? I don't know. It's hard not to I get selfish. I black men against black women. It's hard to fix. You notice, it's hard not yeah, to get selfish and think like, against fuck it, I just got to fix mine. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. kind of at the point now where it's like, I just got to get money, man. Because that's the only thing motherfuckers understand is the damn right. bread. Yeah. Like if we, if we all get bread, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, we we good because I, I I can't you can't teach enough. It's, then then we got now we in a fake. We so far behind now we in fake news era. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We yeah. and then we slides us into one thing I want to get to tonight. We in this hashtag activism era where people just believe yeah, and, and jump on any bandwagon on the internet. You know. Like damn, like I don't know, like I can't combat that and still be combating the first issue, which is the trick of putting men against women. You know, you then know. I gotta fight light skin against dark skin. Hmm. I can't. You I know can't. what's crazy? Don't be talking because you be back in light skin. <laughs> Hold on, you know what's crazy? Let's, I'm still waiting for my colorism right. podcast. What's, we did that. What then? Back when we still had other people here. Shout out to Cass. Mm. Miss you. But um. I, a friend of mine and I were talking today, and he, he was talking about, I'm, I'm still in this man's story, but he was talking about it was a movie, and like, a husband, it was a group of people, husbands and wives and all that, and so the husband was saying some dumb ass shit, so the wife said, you know what, you gotta forgive him, he believes everything he reads, and dude was like, oh, thank, like, yeah, thank you, baby, and then she was like, I didn't mean to have a right, 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 but it's right, like, right, right. I feel like people really do that. Yeah, they don't investigate, no, they don't research anymore. Like, to me, it's like, I don't understand how, like, because, again, like, I read an article, like, I read an article, this guy was, like, criticizing another article some guy did. Mm-hmm. And a friend sent me the article, like, man, that's crazy how they went in. So I was like, so I asked him something about the article he was criticizing. And he was like, I don't know. I'm like, fuck you mean you don't know? And he was like, oh, I didn't even read that. And I'm like, that's weird to me. Mm-hmm. Because my thing is this. Once I saw you were criticizing another article, I went and read that right. article so I could understand your criticism. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, okay, if you're talking about, like, if I'm saying, hey, bro, man, go check out Black Panther. If you ain't seen Black Panther, you're not going to sit in, you know what I'm saying? You're not gonna, you, you can't read my review on Black Panther if you ain't seen it. Right. It's weird. You know what I'm saying? So I went and read that article, like, okay, cool. I see. And then read that. And shit, I never, and then, I, like, and I'm the type of person, like, do write an article and he references two other articles. I'm gonna go read them shits and I didn't spend an hour before I even get back to the original thing you sent me. Cause it's like, I just, I mean, I like information. I wanna get that information. Like, some people just see something, take it at face value, and then just. The headlines, the headlines. Yeah, are, man, 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 what's crazy? It was, a, it was yeah, an it's article. Just fake. On, what's oh, crazy? Yeah, yeah. It was an article on Facebook where they were talking about uh, the transgender kid won a wrestling championship. And everybody was like, oh my God, I can't believe they let this uh, this boy wrestle with the girls and all that. No, it said transgender kid, kid won a girls championship. Mm-hmm. And so they told me, how they gonna let dude, he, some boy wrestle well, with well, the girls? What was the ugly truth? Well, actually, the ugly truth was that she, the, the girl wanted to transition to a boy. So the girl wants a transition to mm. so the thing was so she, but the thing oh, was so like, she was a girl she that was a girl a we, 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 yeah, yeah it was a boy that and you know what I'm saying but we read it like she was just a girl that was just a beast <laughs> and beating the bitch up, beating the shit out of all these other but chicks we just assumed it was a that dude. was a right. dude yeah and that's the thing and I'm like it's like it's funny because like I read it and people was going in and I, and, it, and it was a bunch, it was a couple you like for every twenty people shitting on it it was two people like. Did y'all even read? Mm. Like it says clearly, you know what I'm saying? And it, but the thing was, it's like because it was a girl, so as she was transitioning, she was taking steroids to transition. Mm. And that's the whole process. Mm. But they made her wrestle as a girl. Like she looked like a little boy, so she was banging out. You know what I'm saying? And again, I'm like, but my thing, I'm like, but can you take steroids? And I, I feel like the steroids. Well, hold on, stop right, right. right. I think before you even get into that, the, I think the initial issue is that what, what me and Ty listen to you. It's like. I didn't you assume I heard yeah. I saw I assumed you was a dude yeah. yeah that was pretending yeah. to be a girl that right. was you know what I'm saying the other way around and I think that's what but for me from my perspective I thought that but I didn't put no energy into making a comment and a mm-hmm. statement because you like you just automatically yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't read it I, I saw the headline mm, a dude thing that's crazy yeah moved on but Cass I didn't make it I'm not gonna fight a war now and that's my thing Cass went to war over on what missing I mean I feel like we. 
I feel like we live in a post factual situation. Society. That's why Trump is going to be president again. Yes, because facts. I mean, because <laughs> like facts don't matter anymore, bro. Like, and it's crazy because it's like and just. Wait, I didn't mean to cut you off. Yeah, cool. But there are websites, newspapers, and everything else that intentionally puts out fake news. Yeah, but the problem with that is that, and I, like, because if I, I don't even want to get into the whole censorship kind of part of it too with YouTube and all this other stuff, but let me, let me, probably should because we didn't cover it well last time. Yeah, but, <laughs> like, to me, like, I feel like. You should at least do a little bit of homework. You know what I'm saying? And actually read what you're going to talk about. Read what you're going to criticize. Put some kind of effort into it. Well, if it's so much information, how do you read it all? I mean, I think the thing is, is like, you got to read. I mean, my thing is like, okay, if this thing's saying one thing, go find something that says something else. Well, and you should be commenting on it if you can't make and, a well-informed... Be careful with your comment. Why even, you making yeah. that, that, Yeah, that's okay. That's the point I want to make. It's like... People were so ready to go to war over this. It's like, you don't even know what you're arguing about. Yeah. You assume, but it's like, why don't you take the 10 seconds to read? Exactly. And I'm like, but yeah, but people so quick to, to throw their stuff, to the truth up, throw their, they just say something. So, you know what I'm saying? It's like, so this uh-huh. brings me to, I should tell my sister. But let me ask you, let me, let me, because I feel like, because we kind of touched on a little bit when we were talking about like all this fake stuff, because now it's like, with the lady that shot up YouTube. Right. Um, one of the things that now because people are kind of have a problem on YouTube is that's like okay what responsibility do you have you and Facebook and all these other media companies with curating what's on your platform to where like people just make deliberate fake news like with all these people talking about with the flat earth deniers I mean and it, no, that's the point okay but like this thing, okay that's the point when we talking about post factual is that the problem with that now is like this ignorance is dangerous because now it's like you see more cases of polio, more cases of measles because people don't want to vaccinate their kids. And you know what I'm saying? This when you know someone it's like, dude, we had this stuff beat. But it's like now people are saying, oh well, maybe these vaccines do this, maybe do that. And it's like when you have doctors, if you talk to any if you know I know doctors, I know a doctor, and I was like, should you vaccinate? And it's like, shut the fuck up talking to me. <laughs> like, yes, you dumb bastard. Like, yes, you should vaccinate. Yeah. But the problem is, people are, are and it's funny because people are believe some dude on a website yeah, yeah. that says I'm a doctor. You have like my thing is at least Google this dude. You know what I'm saying? Because you have no idea who this dude is. I got I got to see what Brother Polite's opinion is and everything. No man. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, sticking with what you start with YouTube and Facebooks and all that, we got to keep in mind. Cause we got a short term memory with this mm-hmm. world here because there's so much information. Just less than a month ago, we got the net neutrality issues, yeah. So now all of a sudden, we got these things, and what they've always tricked us into doing is begging for our own punishment, yep. So now all of a sudden, we want YouTube to do what net neutrality is, yeah, 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 we got to be careful with that whole... Yeah, whole. I mean, because I think the problem is, is, like, when you say, okay, YouTube, you should get rid of fake news and all that, who's to say, I mean, who's to say what's true and what's false? I mean, I, I think there is some, with some stuff, there is a gray area, but some stuff is just like, no, you're stupid. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if you, if you like... Yeah, if you if you sharing the Daily Mail, yeah, it's a shit. Not UK. <laughs> but right. but the problem is is that like for example, because I uh I play video games, so it was this game called Far Cry that just came out, and like what well, usually what they do is like a game where it's like one time it was in Tibet, you going around you trying to free all these people and all that. Mm-hmm. So this one was in Montana, and it's like a cult took over, mm-hmm. and so a lot of people kind of were thinking, <laughs> okay, it's gonna be some dope social com- social commentary and this that blah whatever whatever whatever. And people were disappointed when they kind of, they didn't want to really go into all, you know, so I, I guess my, and it's like, I think because, like, for example, like, so people on the left wanted them to kind of make some commentary on Trump and these right wing extremists and the alt right and all this other stuff. Mm-hmm. And I think people on the right wanted them to kind of show that people in rural areas aren't mm-hmm. idiots or yokels or you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying they people that you no, know what I'm saying talking about the video game yeah I'm talking about the video game okay and like so a lot of people with Far Cry Far Cry it's okay. called Far Cry I heard that like, so a lot of people was like shitting on the game like well yeah it's a good game but they missed out on making this social commentary on this point and people on the right were saying this and like I'm like it's like it's so crazy to me like how close both sides are on the same issues but they just 
to, you know what I'm saying, like, y'all both hate the same thing for the same reason, or, like, matter of fact, did you see uh, when Tom, H- Tom Hanks was on Saturday Night Live? No, I didn't. And they did, they had this thing called Black Jeopardy. And it's funny, so, like, they had three black dudes, and then Tom Hanks was on there. He's supposed to be some right-wing dude. Mm. And, like, so they were talking about, so he, and, like, they was like, should you trust the government? He's like, oh, hell no, the government is up to something. And all the black people said, like, oh, okay, okay, Tom. And so they went through different things where you kind of, like, oh, I, you know, so where you, you could tell. And then, so they was like, all right. And then the last question was, like, whose lives matter? And then they were like, oh, shit. And all the black people looking like, oh, shit, here we go. You know, it's, but it's like, and it kind of, it kind of shows that, like, both sides are really close on a lot of these issues that people think we so far on. Like, poor white people to poor black people, all they want is jobs. They want to make money. They want to be able to work. When you, when you say that, you start off, you're saying left and right. It's far right and it's far left. And both of these motherfuckers, it's crazy. But you know, I think... Let me just say this. So you know there's something going around where um, Facebook basically says what they think your political view is. Mm-hmm. Have you all have you all did that? Like, I downloaded my I, I, this week I downloaded I saw all that shit and I went and downloaded my history, my whole little Facebook thing. Oh, you a can big ass it. file. You can download it. It really? your computer's a big ass file. Got all your pictures, all your comments, all your really? shit. I, it's a big ass file. Huh. You got so all your pictures, all your messages and all that shit. Is. I didn't it's so much I can even go through it all. Well, no, because you just go to, like, it's like you go through, like, maybe four or five steps, and then it's basically you'll see what they have you rated as, your really? like, political views. Right. Yeah. I'm going to check that out. I would like to see that. So I feel like most black people, they had them as liberal or very mm-hmm. liberal. Mm-hmm. I was very liberal. But it was interesting to see because so, so I'm like, is this like an algorithm, like what you comment on or what you post well, on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm you, sure. Yeah, that's what it is. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, and all yeah, yeah. of that. They, 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 I mean... A, a while back, I went. I, I saw this thing. They're really, really tracking your every word you put into them is binary code, and that shit means something. Mm-hmm. That's the, everything you put into Facebook, and they're really tracking it, and it's it's building a, a personality, it's building a database on who you are, especially when you what you like. So, like when you don't like your friend's ignorant post, mm-hmm. that's a positive if you don't want to be ignorant, mm-hmm. if you don't want to be considered ignorant. Yeah. When you like this, you like all this shit you share, and all, all of it matters. It and it's, 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 it's building a profile of you. <laughs> I was just telling somebody today they were saying it's an anti Facebook, anti you know, all this shit. I'm like, the thing is, years from now, that particular person uh, rents properties. I'm like, you know what? Take take you, move us to 2030. Mm-hmm. You you rent properties right now. You check their background check. You do this. You do that. Mm-hmm. Twenty years from now, they're gonna check your social media. They're gonna check to see who you are. Why wouldn't they? Already we do it right now on a low when somebody right. comes to file the application. Go check they so see if I Google their name, see mm-hmm. what comes up. Just to make a decision on who's this person really. I just did that. Yeah. Cause I got an interview with dude next week. Yeah, you're gonna so, Google the name, see who this person really is. You know what I'm saying? Sure. You know China does that already? They have a, a citizen score. Mm, a citizen score? A citizen score. Um, y'all don't watch Black Mirror, do you? I feel, no, I don't. I feel like there's going to be some type of lawsuit or discrimination or something coming on them. It's well, you. You don't discriminate against, against you. Well, being, I, no, but I'm saying if you allow for companies, like if you're trying to rent like management companies and you're making the decision off of somebody's social media criteria. Know, but your background that's already happening, though. That's already happening. Though. It's happening to your make that okay. You know what I mean? I mean I think, okay, I'm, I'm making that okay. Saying, I don't no. see what's wrong. What could be wrong with it? I mean, I but think, I'm saying like there's gonna be a problem with it. I think the problem is gonna come. I, th- I can see that because oh, okay. the question is, I found out you're gay. Then I'd be like, yeah, right. It's, 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 it's the question is, what are you basing this on? Yeah, and it's gonna be yeah, but yeah, but anyway, but like yeah, and it, but anyway, the China thing is like what they do is they, for example, like they check your posts, they check what you buy, they check who you're friends with, and they give you a score. Mm. And so, you know, if you're friends with people that have higher scores, your score goes up. Mm. If you buy certain products that the, the country approves of, your score, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's, wow. some, it's some so big brother. So what is this for, though? For credit out. It's, it's like another number. It's another number oh, gauge really? you for, like, rental property, if you want to get a property or, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they they, they just not rolling it out, but... Oh, something. And you got, but you got to think about it. This is a communist nation. Right. So... If you're scoring hard, like again, because they were talking about like if you're scoring high enough, like some things can happen to you. And you like, see why the, I feel like that would be a problem, like why that could be a problem here. Oh yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. I can see how it could be a problem. Um, 
But if you have the ability to look, I mean, this is why Facebook is worth all the money. Data, bro. This Data. is why. It's, well, it's, this is the real Data reason why it's worth all this money, bro. This is why Google is worth all this money. The advertising, obviously, advertisement, but. The fact that they the data mining, the data yeah, mining, giving it to you free, you're what's being sold. Yeah, <laughs> you know, say so that's all it come down to. Play my song. So oh, that's, that's what I'm playing for. Oh, uh, <laughs> all right, this is the UTP. <laughs> <laughs> Later. Uh, but no, I mean, so I, I mean, I think, and the problem is, that, I think, the, so going back to to time, like trying to force companies to 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 censor stuff. Is that I think us as people we need to do our homework, but all this is kind of I mean, but I I don't think any of this is accidental. All this shit is manufactured because like school schools not getting funded properly. Mm-hmm. So now you got a mass of, of uh, undereducated people who I mean, cause think about it, bro. Like in order to be like in, in this country, there are four hundred something billionaires in this country. Okay. In order to be, how much you got? How much money you think you got to be to make be in the top ten percent? Oh yeah, you got to be up there. No, the top ten, top ten percent. Oh, that's what you're saying. Oh, that's what you're saying because that's one percent. Yeah, the top one percent. Yeah, but the top ten okay. percent, you got to make one hundred fifty thousand dollars to be in the top ten percent. That's not a lot of money. Three thousand. <laughs> you know, what I but mean? I mean, so I, I again, my thing is when you think of like ten percent of everybody in this country, what is it? Uh, three billion people in this country. What's I was it? Two billion people in the U.S. Two billion. I mean, yeah. So, what is that? Two million. It's so. So ten percent of that is like two hundred million. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's only two hundred million people in this country. There's like, it's three million people in Chicago. There's only two hundred million people in this country that. Make over 150 grand. That's not a lot. That's not like killing. Well, I can't it. say that. It got to be more than that. No. How I many you say? 200 million. 200 million. Okay, okay. Because sometimes I go to like in the home when you when you get to the home shopping and you see all these homes, you realize okay when you when I'm looking for a 200 thousand, 150 to a 200 thousand dollar house, I'm scraping the bottom. Yeah. Oh okay. yeah. All these other houses that are being bought and sold. Two million, yeah, like, seven hundred thousand. Who are the people affording all these houses that are four hundred thousand dollars, five hundred thousand dollars? That means these people have twenty five hundred dollars, three thousand dollars to spend on a house per month, plus everything else. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay, where are all these jobs at? Because these are the people I know. On the right, I know him, 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 and then him over there and him. Mm-hmm. But I don't know a whole group. So then, when you drive and you look at Orland, you realize. Orland is a suburb of Chicago. Mm-hmm. Um, a whole oh, suburb and all these places have only houses in that price range. Mm-hmm. So all those people mm-hmm. are in that area, in that price range, in that in that in that, in that level. Well, but then you gotta think about like this though, like hell, because my my boss this month he this month looking at the house on like money last was like four hundred grand. It's funny because he actually sent it in the, in the in the company chat the house he looked for. It was like four hundred grand. Yeah. And like I'm like I, but it, like and he kind of intimated the fact that like yeah he was he was gonna put like a hundred grand down. Mm. But he come from money too also. So like that's the thing like I, like you go to weddings and like cash like yeah for your for your for your wedding I'm gonna give you fifty grand on the house. Yeah. That's yeah. a wedding press. Also, also on every day Ramsey I'm listening to that. Sometimes. You know what I'm saying? So every time I get my I'm gonna sell my house my private house is this I'm gonna give. My, uh, the house to my my daughter. She's getting married, so I'm gonna give them the house, and they're gonna sell it. And that's the present. Like, so damn, okay, so they just starting the marriage off for two hundred thousand. Bro, exactly. <laughs> and this ain't again. This ain't a two hundred thousand dollar house. Yeah, yeah. So you you two, you know what I'm saying? Say you three hundred thousand dollars in the good for you to get married. So yeah, you put you know what I'm saying like that like that changed a lot though. That changed your whole trajectory. And the thing is, and it's like that's what like it's a lot of people like pay has like that. They only have no side hustle or nothing like that. Like if you up like you gotta have a side hustle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Man. But and so that's the thing. That's the like to me. Like how the fuck we get to this? <laughs> I'm gonna slide out because I got a pee anyway. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I think I think the thing is is like okay, oh, we stopped talking about education. But anyway, I think it's just like you have an uneducated people making very strong decisions. Like people, like people to believe everything they read without research and without doing any kind of. Right. And again, it's like and then when you bring them, when you bring them knowledge, it's oh that's fake. That's this whatever. But it's like to me, it's like. Like again, yeah, because like I argue with people that think the Earth is flat, and it's just like, no, like, 
Honestly, not I, it, like this. I've been arguing with a couple people that the Earth is flat to the point where I was like, "Look, man, I don't know if the Earth is round. Like, I I, I can't prove the Earth is round." Thing. Who told you it was round? Yeah, somebody just told you that. But then, but then I watched a video. Nothing in your life changes that it's round. I watched a video with uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, and he was like, "Dude, y'all some fucking idiots." And he explained a simple experiment how to. And he was talking about back in like 500 BC, they knew the Earth was round because they did a simple experiment where they dug two holes and like. The shadow on this hole was different than the shadow on that hole, so the earth had to be round. If it was flat, the shadow would be the same in both holes because the earth and the sun would be the same. You know what I'm saying? And he explained, I'm like, oh, shit's making perfect fucking sense. That's simple, but not so simple. But I mean, the thing is, it's like. I think the moon and all everything else in the sky is round, so this must be round. Yeah, I mean, like. It's, but again, like. The gravity is a hard sell. Yeah, but I mean, but, but honestly, what it is, the problem is, is that, like, it's so much stuff that's just assumed. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Gravity, the Earth being round, like the fact that we actually breathe oxygen. Like again, like we don't, we assume so much. But I feel like, and again, like, and I, and I feel like now it's like some people, like, I just don't talk to them because it has to be a baseline of, of basic knowledge that you have before we can have a conversation about anything. Mm-hmm. Because I can't, like, I can't sit here and argue with you about what the word is means. You know what I'm saying? It is all about the uh, intonation. It is I mean, a lot of things. <laughs> oh, I mean, <laughs> but I mean, I just feel like it's just. Oh, no, 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 podcast. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I just think it's a baseline of knowledge that you have to have in order before we can even have a conversation. If you gonna argue with me, like yeah. If you gonna argue, like start with common sense. Yeah, I mean that's the thing is like, I have to know you have common sense. So there's some stuff where it's like once you say something, I just totally check out because you're stupid and right. I'm not gonna argue with you. I'm not gonna waste my time. And breath. who's gonna argue with somebody who's not debating an informed? People do it all the time. Check I know, out. but it's, that's but that's the thing with like stupid. Facebook, social media. Period. They'll be arguing with something and they don't even know what they're talking about. Like they haven't yeah. read the article, they haven't looked at the video, so they're basing their opinion off of a topic. And you know what? And that was like... Or a title of an article. And that's why for the longest time, probably even still now, I don't really mess with social media that much. Because like when like when Twitter first came out, my first thought was like, I don't know if I want my stupid ramblings at 2 in the morning to be on the same place where Maya Angelou would say something profound and just be able to put a point. Yeah, but... You know what I'm you saying? Know, like, when Twitter first came out... I liked Twitter because it was like it gave you an opportunity if you wanted to ramble Mm -hmm. you can do that if you wanted to pontificate with somebody you know what I mean you could have done you could you know what I mean it just gave you kind of like a platform that was different from like and actually when Twitter was out I was more on Twitter than I was Facebook Mm -hmm. because I feel like it just gives you it's an easier platform for you to agree like yeah and to just you can dialogue and just going back it's more conversational I mean but I I think the problem came when like it bothers me when I'm watching the news and and they'll show tweets I'm like well why though because to me like you can be just say for instance I'm gonna take something basic as watching awards award ceremony or a show or something like that or even sports final four or whatever it gives you the opportunity to talk about something while you in a moment you know what I mean so it's well, kind of like you're having a conversation with somebody but it's just electronically you know what I mean it's over the internet well no I mean why I say I mean because yeah also, but like when I, why I say news is that because I go to the news for information oh so uh, I get what you're saying you but it's saying? opinion well but my thing is this others. though I think the problem is that when you give me factual information, when I, like when I, when I I say I want factual information, I get and it. And then you give me some idiot's opinion. You might that as well just quote against, Wikipedia. Like, and it, like exactly. And my thing is like, okay, so what you're telling me is like this idiot's opinion is as important as some research information. Right. I get that. And that, that kind of empowers like. I feel like it's empowered the wrong thing or the wrong sentiment. And I think. But it's all in how it's used. You, you know what I mean? Social media, you mean? Well, Twitter, on, Twitter, you Twitter, know, Twitter. basically, oh. he, he's saying, like, if he goes to CNN or the news or whatever, it irritates him when he sees a twit. What is it called? Tweet, a, tweet. a tweet? I mean, a twit. Tweet. A tweet. Yeah. A tweet. A tweet. Tweet is a person. Yeah. <laughs> tweet. <laughs> a twit. Damn. 140 about- characters. About the subject matter and how many? It's not 140. No, it's not. They right. changed it to 260 or something. 280, I think. 280. Okay. 
Look, when I was really heavy on Twitter, it was 140. But I get what you're saying, though. You know, it's like you, you're basically using the opinion of someone that may not necessarily be researched or... I go to the news for news. For research. You don't really go to the news ready. for news, though, do you? No, I do. I don't want to do that for... If something happens and I'm not sure, I hear a rumor something happened. Like something to see what's trending? Yeah, it's not on Twitter. Twitter is that. Like... I, don't I ain't been on Twitter. I ain't had a reason to. But if something happened, I'm not sure. Um, I just hear a rumor or something. I don't know. Something explodes. <laughs> you know what I think about? And see what's going on. This is random. But if I would have stayed on Twitter, I would have had me a blue check. You part of black Twitter and you let it go? Like, I was like, I, I, was, I wish I was part of black Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was dialoguing with, like, I told you, I didn't dialogue with Idris no. Elba and the Diddies and all of them. It's, but yeah, you have to be like, yeah, you gotta like. That's what I'm saying. So I would have, if well, I was start Twitter, yeah, we gotta start retweeting first. We gotta start retweeting oh, first. Oh, you gotta do it up to you. Yeah, yeah but I'm right. saying, like, I was really, like, into, like, really. Mm. What did you know? It's common sense. Facebook. Facebook. Then I start doing. I got on Facebook, and then I start spending more time on Facebook. Then they changed the whole like um, the setup of Twitter. I didn't really like it anymore. The but, platform seemed to be very um, specific to people's personalities. Yeah. After this podcast, Facebook fits it more than any other platform. I think. Did you say Facebook or fake book? Facebook. Facebook. Crouch. <laughs> so, <laughs> I bring it up every right, right, right. Makes sense. But no, um, Facebook seems to be our group, our demographic. Mm-hmm. Instagram wouldn't necessarily be it. When I was talking about younger bro, Simeon, mm-hmm. his thing he has going, his fits Instagram, so he goes live on Instagram. Mm-hmm. He got a Facebook page, but he don't go. Mm-hmm. That wouldn't make sense yeah. for his demographic. That's right. probably just his family, whatever the case, because he's a younger person. You know what I'm saying? Well, so, yeah, Facebook is now for old people. Our generation and up. All of them have a certain thing, though. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I think, I guess my problem with social media is that there's no way to different, differentiate between um, content creators and idiots and trolls. Everybody has the same voice on, on Twitter. Which brings me to two teeth missing. Really? Mm. That is that the segue? Yeah, but transition, that ain't my thing, huh? I got that whole shit down, though. Yeah. yeah <laughs> <bro>. <laughs> um, I want to get to that. You know what? Because I almost feel like... I want no, you to be careful. With you. I want you to be careful. I almost feel like there's a fake news element to that whole situation. Mm-hmm. Because everybody... What are we was, talking about? Talking about uh, Fabulous beating up his girl. Wow. But nobody actually knows if he beat up his girl. But you know what, though? We've seen him argue with his the, the father, his her her father and brother. But nobody. Right. We can't have podcasts. But no. The same shit. What? We just agree with everything. Oh. Um, oh. So you're gonna say the same? I'm sorry. I keep saying on your point. Wait, I'm sorry. But. but I read an article where it says that. The court documents said that basically what people are saying is factual. Like, well, well, well actually, let me yeah. take that back because that doesn't even mean it's I'm factual. But I will say, for years, I've heard that Fab was the beater. The T. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> no. What's the tea? What's the tea? No, I'm saying, like, for real, I've heard for a years. T for tequila, by the way, for you. Um, uh-huh. Tea tequila for you, by the way. Man. Um, but what, what have you heard about that? Let's get to that. I ain't heard nothing about Fabulous. Y'all haven't? No, all we know about Fabulous is he's a smooth, cool motherfucker that chill. It's like what? Don't seem like that dude. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard about him when he about to, he got he got pumped by Ray J or about to fight Ray J or something like that. That's that off the Breakfast Club. And I was in that situation. He was like, man, I was like, I don't think he wants smoke from Ray J. What? If you want to break, okay, let's do that. Let's do the fabulous breakdown. Street family. Don't know about street family. Hold on, I got. That's his crew. His clique. Mm-hmm. They are having to be known a little notorious for mm-hmm. bullshit. His crew, but he's always kept his character cool and calm. No. Where are you going? You going to the kitchen? Let's pause for the cause. 